Hi everyone, it's good to see you all here. As you can see on the screen, our topic today is how to make delicious Vietnam coffee fin. You may already know this, but just in case you don't since the 19th century, Vietnam has enjoyed fin coffee. Many people still want to make good coffee, however. Making coffee takes more than putting hot water through a filter. This technique must comprise an appropriate coffee selection, and technical purchase and preparation of drink ingredients. So let's look at how to make delicious Vietnam coffee fin. You need to prepare the following to make good coffee. The first is pure coffee powder. Next is the coffee filter. Filters come in a variety of materials, including ceramic, plastic, aluminum, and stainless steel. And you should choose glass coffee cups without handles to make filter coffee. Water should be boiled at a temperature of 93 to 95 degrees Celsius for the highest quality. Now, I want to describe how to prepare classic tiny filter coffee. First, prepare 25 grams of coffee powder and 80 to 100 milliliters of filtered water. Rinse the filter with hot water. This technique affects the taste of the coffee. Next, add the coffee. Smooth the surface of the coffee powder by pressing the lid. Slowly pour 30 milliliters of boiling water over the coffee surface. After 2 minus 3 minutes, when the coffee powder has absorbed all the water and expanded evenly, you proceed to compress the lid, add 50 milliliters of boiling water, then close the lid and wait. About 1 minute later, the coffee will start to drip down the glass. You wait until the small coffee is almost empty, then press the lid firmly to extract all the remaining coffee. As a result, you will get about 40 to 45 milliliters of coffee water. You can add condensed milk, sugar or ice, stir well and enjoy. The most crucial step in brewing a tasty cup of coffee is selecting a quality coffee powder. For the finest taste and health, use unadulterated, uncontaminated coffee. You should select coffee powder with large seeds since fine grains when brewed, will fall into the fill hole, leaving a lot of coffee residue when drinking and making it challenging for the water to permeate while flowing down. Another important factors include water supply and ratio. Filtered or spring water makes the clearest, tastiest coffee. Water and tap water might contain pollutants, and chlorine can be dangerous. Coffee to water ratio is 1 to 4 or 1 to 5. 25 grams of coffee takes 80 to 100 milliliters of water. I will reveal to you a secret on how to enjoy Vietnamese filter coffee. Unsweetened coffee with water or tea is popular among coffee connoisseurs. If you prefer sweet coffee, add sugar or condensed milk. Moderate sugar helps preserve coffee's natural flavor. Take a drink of hot coffee after mixing to get it all over your mouth. Slowly inhale and swallow. Slowly savoring the coffee's scent wakes the senses. If you frequently drink coffee with ice, avoid adding fresh coffee to a glass of ice and instead add each ice cube one at a time into the cup of coffee. And of course, coffee preservation is crucial. After mixing, cooling, and pouring into a glass cup, coffee can be refrigerated for a day. Longer aged coffee loses flavor faster. The ideal window is less than two hours. Long-term hot holding degrades coffee's aroma and acidity. That's all I want to say about how to make delicious Vietnam coffee fin. Although it is not difficult to create the perfect cup of tasty coffee, it is important to use the correct procedure. I wish you luck with our coffee making technique shared earlier. Well, that's it from Helena Coffee. Thanks very much.